I saw this video about a YouTuber Sam Trap that they make a cardboard into a shoes. I thought it'd be cool if I tried to do that, but bigger. I printed out the really size I'm gonna make these shoes. So everything is here. I already don't know if you guys can see it, but everything is traced on this piece of paper. But first we're gonna start with the salt shoes to make sure that I build the base. This is gonna be the size of it. I know you guys are gonna say this is bigger, but I thought it's gonna be the right size. I started by cutting this cardboard into four different pieces. I ended up tracing the salt to the piece of cardboard twice to make sure I have the strong base to build the shoes. So I just need to glue those together. To do that, I'm gonna use a Gorilla Glue. For my mistake, I really forgot to trace the side of the shoes. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Oh, the side is done. So this takes me like a three tries to make that look like this. I need to put it all together. is done. So just gonna put it aside and I'm gonna start to work on the back of the shoes. For the part we're gonna be working right now is already cut it. I need to get the cardboard and then trace all those. So I got a piece that I need, but the thing is not gonna bend it that easy. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try to roll it on the top of this cardboard. <laughs> it definitely worked. This is how we're looking for to stay. I'm gonna do the rest. One side is done. This took me 45 minutes just to this part. I didn't realize it's hard to saw just, you know, use your bare hands. I'll start to use these finger gloves because my fingers hurt a lot, so it's, it's kind of turned red, so that's why I start to use this. We got this size to go probably another 45 minutes to done. Start to work on a Nike switch to put on the both side, and we're gonna end up finish this part with this one on the top. It's gonna be here, it's right here. I forget that I have this part to do it, but it's done. So now I'm just gonna put it on the side. We're gonna start to work in out the front on the shoes. Everything is ready to go. I already cut all the pieces I'm gonna use right now. So we're gonna start to trace all those pieces to the piece of cardboard. This was the hardest part to do it. So this part in the front of the shoes is like, I don't know why the cardboard not gonna let you bend it, but like it took me a lot of time to just do this part more than in the back of the shoes. But now I'm thinking, so if I'm gonna put just straight started to do it here and work on the rest of the shoes later. I'm almost 
official double day shoe. So we're gonna work on on the tongue. So I know it's been like a crazy, it's been like a cross two months. I didn't post any videos. It's close now. It is two months. I didn't post any videos. I know I've been burned out. So I'm promise you guys, I'm gonna make try to go to two videos a month, but I'm gonna make like the best videos. One best videos. I'm, on, I'm sorry, make you guys wait for that long. I hope you understand it and I hope you guys keep watching my videos. Let's finish this. I need to make some holes on this to make sure I can put the laces on it. This one is a mess, so just want to show you guys how this play looks. So this is a cardboard everywhere and my table. Let's show you guys how big this shoe is. Just have a look. It's bigger than my head. It's gonna go to my chest. So this is the biggest cardboard shoes that I I did and then that I saw so far. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more. <laughs>